Hey guys, Heidi Easley here, Texas Art and Soul, and I am going to be painting a prayer that I am so inspired by from Gabrielle Bernstein. Um, it's basically, what would you have me do? Where would you have me go? What would you have me say? And to whom you would have me say it to? And so the reason this prayer has been um, really important lately is I think sometimes when we're praying, oh, thanks Carol for joining. Um, Thank y'all, Shannon, for joining. I think sometimes when we pray, it's all about us. Oh my gosh, I can't tell you how many times my prayers are, um, can be, I'm just going to be honest, you know, very um, selfish and greedy. And I know, um, I'm just going to type this real quick, painting, and share this if you, um, share this if you think it might help somebody or maybe inspire somebody today to do a painting about a prayer. Um, but what I wanted is I keep trying to memorize this and I keep saying it wrong. And so I'm going to do it on a much bigger canvas than this. I actually, we're going to, I'm going to put it in my bedroom. My husband doesn't even know it yet, <laughs> but I want to start the day every day saying, what would you have me do? Where would you have me go? What would you have me say and to whom you would have me say it to? And the reason is I just want to refocus every single morning on my prayers being more um, in line with what God wants me to do because I've seen so many shifts in my business over the past four years. I've seen things where, um, you know, God giveth and God taketh away. And I've seen, you know, things that I know that I um, was supposed to do. Yeah, I thought I was supposed to do. Oh my gosh. I honestly thought like, you know, this one style of art was going to be, you know, what I was going to be known for. Like, you know, I love doing it. I, this is my favorite thing. And, and then um, in an instant, it was like God was direct, like redirecting me. And so, um, and what I'm doing right now is I'm taking one of my favorite metallic blues, metallic cobalt blue artist law from, um, from Michael's. And so if y'all have any questions or tell me where you're from or if you're a painter, if you'll put that on there, that'd be awesome. Say hi to me so I don't feel like I'm talking to the interweb without anybody watching. Um, but yeah, so um, there's been many times in my, um, you know, just my art adventures. Or I always like to say art adventures because I never feel like it's work. Um, but art adventures where I feel like I've been redirected. And has anybody ever had that in their life where they're doing something? Oh, there's no water in that. Hold on. Um, here we go. And um, sometimes if your paint's not going on smooth, just put, dip it in water and go straight back to it. Um, hopeful painter. Oh, I love that, Patty. Thanks for joining. Yes, um, I'm all about, like, I feel like, um, you know, God's been redirecting me and kind of redirecting me on this path of, of not only me painting and having fun, but showing other people, even beginners, how to paint and how to give themselves hope. Um, it's such a, you know, kind of, sad, depressing world out there, and it can really, um, I mean, just, you know, the stuff I saw yesterday in Florida, oh my gosh, it, it just breaks my heart, and so, you know, praying for them and um, their families, and oh, I'm going to tear up thinking about it, um, because, you know, you just, you just don't know, you just, you know, you just don't know, um, praying for direction myself, yes, okay, so, this is a good thing to do. So it's, it's nice to go, yeah, that's a great prayer, and I'm going to try to remember that, which is what I was trying for about three weeks now, and I could not, I kept saying, I was laying in bed before I'd get up, and I'd say it, and I'd be like, no, that's, I don't think that's right. No, I don't, I don't think that's right either. So instead of me trying to guess it and, and make it right, and, you know, which I know, you know, my words are, are fine, you know, God knows what I mean. But I just want something that no matter what is happening, I can just, I have it memorized. And if I, I'm a very visual, I mean, most artists are a very visual type learner. And so anytime I was studying for tests or anything like that, I had to just seriously like, you know, just concentrate and memorize because my brain is like, squirrel, you know, what else can I look at or do? And this one I'm putting on is a... Um, metallic blue again I'm all about the metallics I'm going to cover most of this back up with um, some stenciling and white and again I'm not going to show you the whole process yet because I have a um, another meeting here in just a few minutes 
but I want to kind of um, show you how I'm getting my background so it could be drying. And then when I'm finished, I will show you the end result. But I wanted to show you kind of how I get these fun backgrounds because even though, you know, that one type of art that I was doing that I feel like kind of God moved me from, I mean, I could totally still do it if I want. And I've, you know, done a few here and there. But even though, you know, I feel like God kind of, hey, Lanka. Oh, tell everybody where you're from. You're from way, way different area. Um, but she lives close by. That's one of my best painter friends ever. Um, but yeah, so even though I feel like, you know, God moved me from that path, which I cried for two days, don't get me wrong. I, I was very sad for a couple days, but then I knew it was crazy. But like, I knew, oh, thank you, Patty, for loving the colors. And it's like, even in all that sadness, I knew that there was um, there was a reason, and I knew there was a bigger path for me. There was a bigger mission for me, and I knew what you know. God kind of knows it takes something to make me move in a different direction. Have y'all ever had that? Um, oh, Shannon's in the UK. I haven't played with metallic paints yet. <gasps> Shannon, go buy some today. And um, yet, so very excited to see this. Those are my favorite colors. Oh my gosh, metallic paints are like my very first year teaching art. Um, I actually have my degree in communication and went back and got my um, art um, certification so I could teach art K through 12. However, my first year teaching, because I, you know, I had art, you know, a lot of self-taught, a few art classes, but mostly self-taught. And then, of course, all the teacher trainings. And, um, oh, and always paint your edges if you don't want to buy a frame. Again, I'm going to redo this on a much bigger canvas, but I just want to get kind of show y'all. But anyway, one of my middle schoolers, I taught middle school my first year, and she brought in one of her art pieces, and it was all done in metallic paints. And I'm like, what is that? what did you do, you know? And I was like, where did you get that? And so since then I've been addicted and it was taught to me by an eighth grader. And um, yet need a two by four in my head sometimes. <laughs> okay, I think I missed that part of it. What was the two by four in the head part? But yes, definitely go buy you metallic paints. Now, this is kind of my um, fun stash. I don't really take these to paint parties just because not only are they very expensive, um, but these and the golden paints, which are kind of my own personal stash, and um, very highly expensive, so I don't recommend them if you're teaching them for paint parties because they are harder to use. And um, it's like you do need to, um, you know, I wouldn't say you have to be like a masterful painter because I would not say I'm like a masterful painter, but um, you want to be okay with like doing this and knowing that was like a dollar <laughs> that you just put out. And so what I'm doing now is I just kind of blobbed on some purple and then I, I'm out of bubble um, wrap, which is um, what I love. I'm getting what God is telling me direction to before. <laughs> Got it. Yes, God will just keep redirecting. I have found in my, my 38 years on this slide and what I was telling people, I have this right here, but I'm going to paint it. But the reason I'm doing this is um, I want to have a prayer every day that I say. And this is what Gabriella Bernstein says. Um, she's the author of The Spirit Junkie. She's really inspirational. She went from, um, you know, doing drugs all the time to, like, one night. You have to read her books. But in, in one of the nights, she was like, totally messed up and she's like I'm gonna be a motivational speaker one day and she's 38 I mean she's my age and just in what I think seven eight years that um, I'm just dabbing this by the way in just seven eight years what she's turned into and now she kind of helps you know women and, and whoever else kind of you know find their path and help them through you know knowing through um, prayer a lot of prayer that, you know, we're co-creating with God. I know y'all heard me talk about that book. Um, yay, new paint shirt. <laughs> um, I love Gabrielle's. Oh, yes. And I think the thing that's so um, inspiring me about her is that she really does, you know, kind of practice what she preaches. Like, every day waking up saying, God, what would you have me do? 
where would you have me go? What would you have me say and to whom you would have me say it to? And um, it's almost like, um, it's not almost. I mean, she's totally trusting in the next step. And I think as, you know, creative people especially, sometimes we're like, what are we going to make? What are we going to do? And then um, also if you're, you know, running a business, like, you know, I run a paint party business and I also teach people all over the world how to run a paint party business. And this is copper, by the way. And so if um, you're running a business, it's this one, Artist Sloth Copper Metallic. Shannon, you'll like that. Or was that Patty? I can't remember. Um, copper, you'll like that. That's really fun. That's one like I wish I would just, I should just keep in my purse. It's like one of those. Um, but when you're running a business, if you're doing a paint party business or whatever kind of entrepreneurial type business you're doing, sometimes you can feel like you're beating your head against the wall or you're not making any traction or you're not making any difference. And so the things that keep me going is knowing that um, God has a path and we don't always have to go like, if I'm not here in six months, I've failed. Oh my gosh, if I was to sit here and list to you the last four years, all the failures I've had, like y'all would probably be in tears <laughs> for me. But if I sat here and listed like all the accomplishments and that's what like I like to remind myself of is, yeah, there's been, there's been, you know, dips and downs. It's a roller coaster as an entrepreneur, but oh my gosh, if you want like the best self-help course ever in your life, become an entrepreneur because you will learn things about yourself. You will be tested, you know, you know, just testing yourself on what you can handle and um, emotionally and um, you will be, and if any of y'all are out there that are um, entrepreneurs and you understand a little bit of what I'm talking about, if you'll just do a heart or a like, um, because there are a lot of, um, there's a lot of questioning, but then there's a lot of things like, you know, I have a bigger mission. I know that art heals, like I know that for a fact, and I know in my heart that God has given me this passion for paint, and not only just like painting, but teaching beginner type painters that art can heal. So if you, you know, you've had the most awful traumatic experiences, there's a way that you can do something to, you know, you don't even have to do this with people. You can um, do this to get out of your head or just at home. And doing stuff like this, I literally put on, you know, streaks of paint, no talent needed, and then, um, <laughs> oh good, Shannon, I'm not the only one. And then I also um, just took a, seriously, just grabbed this. I would have grabbed a paper towel if I didn't have tissue paper. This is nothing special. Um, and I'm just dabbing. And then another really fun thing to do, and again, this is just kind of some background work I learned as I was um, developing my own style because I like to make my backgrounds all crazy. And then after I make my backgrounds crazy, I like to do these really cool quotes. Again, what would you have me do, God? Where would you have me go? What would you have me say? And to whom you would have me say it to? So, um, hey, Stormy, thanks for watching. Um, oh, and I can't wait to do y'all's paint party. It's coming up. I'm excited. We are doing door hanger paint parties. Okay, I'm going to show you some of my favorite stencils. As you can tell, they're my favorites because they have been used like crazy, and I'm not sure where I can find this one again, but it is like a quarter inch thick of paint because I've used it so much. And then I wanna show you a way that I use stencils. Yay, I can't wait either, I'm so excited. And um, I'm gonna show you a way I use stencils that make it a little bit different. So again, like I was saying, this is gonna have those quotes on there. So this is just background work, okay? I will post the finished product probably, hopefully I can finish it today. Um, Cause I have, after I do all my meetings and things like that, I'll try to jump back over here and do this. But I'm trying to think, cause all my words gonna be in white. So I'm gonna do another complimentary color. And um, let me see, ooh, this green might work. Let me try a greenish blue. So I'm gonna do a greenish, and then I'm gonna add in a little bit of my, a different blue. I don't wanna do the same metallic blue. Ooh, this one will work. This kind of blue here. Yeah, definitely, Patty. Um, and I'm gonna put this right, like, 
there's a wall in my bedroom that is like we have Blue's little bed right there, although he does sleep with us. But when you know I'm getting ready in the morning, he'll sit in his little bed, my dog. Um, but there's this wall that I mean, as soon as I wake up, it's the wall I look at. And honestly, I was going to just because I'm work, I'm going to do some plastering stuff on here, and I'm going to show you how to plaster on your wall and paint over it because this is totally not finished behind me. Um, but I was going to like plaster it on the wall and um, but we haven't done our room yet and I wanted to be like respectful I mean my husband's pretty much like paint anything you want um but he wants me to like keep it like when it's his face too I just try to be a little respectful um, and make sure he's okay with it first so he doesn't show up and then I have this <laughs> like plastered mess all over the place so I'm gonna take my stencil and then again, this is just for background work and um, you can let it dry if you want, but I'm just going to place it like this and then I'm just dabbing and I'm doing two colors because I don't want it to just look boring. Okay, so I'm dabbing into a lime green and I'm also dabbing into a like a Caribbean blue like this. Oh, and I was going to tell y'all, any of y'all who have um, not registered yet for the Hey Chelsea, oh, good to see you watching. And let me know, I'm just painting the background for a prayer that I'm going to put in my room. Um, but any of y'all that have not registered yet for the largest paint party on the planet, it's kind of like Elf. Have y'all seen the movie Elf? Um, when it says, like, the world's greatest cup of coffee, and then she goes in and she's like, this is a crappy cup of coffee. <laughs> well, I know the largest paint party on the planet is not going to be the largest paint party on the planet the first time I do it. However, you got to start somewhere. And so I'm going to do them every month virtually. And so, oh, Amanda. Hey, Amanda. She says, I'm so glad I came across you. You're in all inspiring, upbeat, and just great. We all need a happy place and post. Thanks for being in that. Oh, you're welcome. Where are you from, Amanda? Thanks for watching. And yeah, and so my daughter kind of was like calling me out and I was like, baby, I can't just like have, um, again, this is just background work, background work. So I'm just gonna take my wet stencil and move it. And, and I said, baby, I can't just have like, you know, the largest paint party on the planet, although it will be eventually because I'm gonna have the Guinness Book of World Records track it. And so, um, so yeah, so it will be eventually, but you have to start somewhere. You can't just like, you know, like for example, when I was starting to teach paint parties, um, you know, I would like, as I was a teacher, if we had like a, a day where we were in the gym and we were, you know, all the kids were together and we were watching like, you know, sometimes you have to watch videos or something that have to do with some kind of school, whatever. And um, I would be on my phone looking at the, hey guys, thanks, thank y'all for joining. Um, I would be looking at the tipsy artist, Tiffany, from Oklahoma, because she has huge parties, and that was who I aspired to. That was my goal, is to do these huge events. And what I didn't realize was that not only God was going to have me do these huge events, but he wanted me to speak at these events. And so now, when I do these huge church events, I get to talk about... You know, my bankruptcy to business owner and how I failed a zillion times. But it's all in to help other people. Um, and, you know, I get to talk about other things with, you know, the heart transplant with my dad and all these other, like, really emotional, very emotional topics. However, it's like God wanted me to do that for the next level. So, um, so it's kind of crazy how he moves you. And I know that if I wouldn't have been open to adjusting, you know, where I thought I was going to be, you know, two, three years ago to where I'm now, I know that that would have been kind of, you know, not available to me. And now it's awesome because I get to travel all over and meet cool people like y'all. So it's been really exciting and a blessing. And I just want this year, um, and feel free to copy any of this. Um, obviously I'm copying this prayer from Gabby, um, but feel free to copy this. Oh, hey, May. Okay, so is it, is it Myla? I don't want to say it wrong. Do people call you Myla sometimes? Because I feel like I'm going to mispronounce it. And you're living close to me now. Yay, we might have to meet up. 
Um, Amanda from Colorado, but live in Benton, Arkansas. Awesome. Well, if you ever need a large church paint party there, let me know I'm your girl. I do travel as long as the numbers are there. Um, and my daughter, she likes to come with me. We do road trips together. Um, okay, so now I'm going to do this one a little bit. Um, and I'm going to put some stuff on there. But again, this is all just about trying to be less... I know we pray big. And I know the um oh patty awesome and tell me more about the largest online paint party please where do i register okay awesome thank you for asking so march 22nd i am going to be teaching why do i not have it in here i will post below this video this is what happens when you do fun art and then you have to write your to-do list that's that's how it happens right there um, it's basically on March 2nd, Friday night, 7 p.m. on my Texas Art and Soul, where you are at right now, TexasArtandSoul.com, um, 7 p.m. Central. I am going to be teaching you how to do a mason jar welcome sign. I have an early bird special, which means it's usually $47, and um, I'm doing an early bird special through tomorrow night at midnight for $33, and what's going to happen is I'm going to ship you, if you're in the United States, I'm going to ship to you not only um, the mason jar wooden cutout, but I'm going to email you the step-by-step -step directions. The um, I'm actually adding in a bonus for all of y'all that have already signed up. You're going you're gonna to be happily surprised. Um, I'm going to ship you the, um, the mason jar cutout. I will be teaching you step-by-step -step on video this live. So it'll be like a like a community-wide, you know, people all, my whole goal is to just, you know, either you want to invite people and you all do it together, or maybe you're like, I'm tired of just sitting around on Friday and watching Netflix. Like, let me, you know, hang out with Heidi and paint. And the reason this all came up is my, one of my best friends, artist, um, Alonka, she might still be on here. And um, we used to paint together every week. And then she moved um, about five hours away. And I lost my paint buddy and I was like, I need somebody to paint with and talk to and communicate with. So, um, so I thought, you know, why not start holding the largest paint party on the planet? So that $33 will include your cutout, which my husband cuts out. I pre-draw where everything goes. I ship it to you. And then um, I'm also going to send you, and I'm doing this, by the way. I'm also going to send you um, by email step-by-step -step instructions as well as a supply list of exact colors, exact everything. Of course, you can go crazy and do all of that, you know, however you want. Um, and then I'm going to, after I live it, I'm going to save the video and then send you a, um, a link to where you can have access to it so you can do it anytime you want. Maybe you want to have a ladies' night yourself and, you know, Put the video on and y'all go crazy. That's fine with me too. And then as a bonus, okay, so all this for $33, um, you're going to get, okay, so I know sometimes people have trouble with the welcome. And so I'm going to actually write that out for you and then make a copy. Oh, hey, Rebecca. Hey, Jennifer. Thank y'all for joining. I'm just talking about a prayer that I'm going to create. Um, and so I'm going to um, print that out for you. So all you have to do is cut it out. So if you're terrified of putting the welcome sign on, like, you know, you do this beautiful painting that is for beginners that I walk you step by step. But if you're terrified about the welcome part, the handwriting, which I know can be a little bit um, traumatizing for people, then I'm going to actually send you a copy of the, my handwriting that you can just cut out and then trace so that your welcome will be perfect. And I'll post under, but again, early bird special is $30, um, $33 until tomorrow night at midnight. So I'll post that after this. Okay, and those of y'all that are just joining, okay, so I know we're supposed to pray big. I'm all about praying big, but um, Gabby Bernstein, who I'm... I read a lot of her books. She has this. And again, I can't even have it memorized. This is why I'm making a painting of it. And um, says, God, what would you have me do? Where would you have me go? What would you have me say? And to whom? And so I'm going to put this as soon as like I wake up every morning so I can say that prayer. So it's not always about, about me. I mean, yes, 
you know, we all want a great life, but I think that um, it's really important. Oh, you're welcome, Patty. I'll post it after this video. Um, it's about helping others, too, and helping them along their journey. So there are so many other fun things you can do. This ink, if I can get open, it's acrylic artist ink from um, Pearlescent. Jerry's Artorama. If you live anywhere around Austin, um, I know that there's a Jerry's there because when I was there a lot um, for my dad's hospital stuff, I I don't think I can open it. I think I always have to get Bobby to open this one. Hold on. Crap, it hurts. I'm going to like rip my fingers up. Hold on. I can do this. <laughs> you know, not the most athletic gal around, but I do like to paint. Oh, I got it, yes, I take that back. I'm athletic and opening a thing. Okay, so this is really fun. If you take your art, I'm gonna post this down a little bit, and then just kinda drop, this is ink, okay? And you just kinda drop it wherever you want. And if you're not putting your words on there for a while, and you can you know, just kinda have fun with it if you want and kinda play with it, can y'all see that? Um, it's, there's really no right or wrong. Because again, like I said, a lot of this is going to be covered up with more texture. The more you can add, the better, okay? Um, so right now, it just looks like a kindergarten mess, but it's really, really fun. <laughs> a kindergarten mess, it's really fun. So I'm just kind of like playing around with some of these other metallics. And again, the whole reason I'm doing this is to get these backgrounds. I'm going to show you what I mean by the backgrounds that I'm getting. Um, this is my family painted as sugar skulls. And the whole reason I'm showing... <laughs> Sorry, my dog's acting crazy. The whole reason I'm showing you this is see all of these different designs and all of these different... Um, all these different things, that's bubble. Like right here, the, all that is is bubble wrap. Okay, and um, lots of inks that I've thrown on. Some um, Alina's glue is right here. Um, tons of different shades, and that's what I'm doing here. I'm creating a background of many different layers, consistencies, all different kinds of stuff. And I'll, you know, through the next probably today and a little bit tomorrow, I'll just be like adding like crazy to this, and then I'll add my prayer. And so once my prayer is on there, then every morning, oh, he's my good guard dog, man. He'll, he'll take somebody out. Um, and if he doesn't, I will. <laughs> um, so this is my um, kind of like the background for this prayer. So again, if you're watching this and you just really feel like when you go to pray, you're not sure what to say, or maybe you're trying to co-create with God. I did an interview with Akiana Kramaric. Um, at the beginning of January, I believe, um, mid-January. It's on my YouTube channel, um, but it's all about co-creating with God and how God is, he's the ultimate entrepreneur. I mean, if you think about it, and, and I, I highly recommend this book called Called to Create, and if you think about it, he is. He's the ultimate entrepreneur. He created everything, and he wants us to create with him. And so sometimes we can put all this pressure on ourselves as, you know, this is what needs to happen now, or this is where um, it needs to go. And I found, and I am finding, as I start to surrender more and stop being so in control, you know, like December, I had 17 paint parties, and I was like a crazy person. And then, you know, I looked at my calendar, because I've really been, you know, working on my online business, and really like trying to strategize for 2018 to kind of um, still do awesome paint parties, but do larger paint parties and to, you know, have this art life where it's experiencing fun things with my family, but also, you know, sharing hope with others and showing them the art heals. Doing something like this can be done by anybody. This is not a masterpiece. I could teach my old kindergartners this and they could totally do it. And so, um, just adding layers and adding layers and then putting some kind of powerful prayer on it 
where you know every morning you wake up and you can read that and know it's not always about you. It's about who you can touch or who you can help along the way. So I hope this helps. I have another meeting I have to prepare for and I'll try to finish this up um, later today and then hopefully have pictures posted tonight or tomorrow. But if you think this might help somebody that maybe they're creatively stuck, please share. And don't forget, mark the calendars, March 7th, okay? March 7th and, oh, no, 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 not March 7th. Eh. Cut. <laughs> March 2nd. March 2nd at 7 p.m. I will be doing the live largest virtual paint party on the planet. And if you want to get the supplies, of course, you can just watch and join in. But I would love to have you paint with me, too. Um, if you would like to get the, um, the wood cut out. Um, oh, have a great day, too. You, too. Um, just post, I'm going to post the link below. Click on it. Before midnight tomorrow, you get the early bird special of 33. And then it goes up to 47. So, and then the, those will be shipped to you if you're in the U.S. And then if you are not in the U.S. and you're U.K., other areas... Um, let me know if you want to try to jigsaw and cut it out yourself. Um, I can work a price for a template, and then you can do that and still be involved with the supply list and all of that good stuff. So anyway, I hope you all have a great day, and I will see you all soon. Bye, guys.